In our previous videos, we've created a search and results screen using fragments. Uh, the only thing is we haven't actually wired up the search. So in this video, uh, we're going to make it so that clicking on the search button will actually communicate with the results fragment below and limit the results we see on that fragment. So to start, let's move this guy out of the way. And we're going to go to the activity the activity that supports the fragment, and that is specimen show activity. We double click and we'll maximize this. Now we also have one, one trick that we have to remember is that we have two different things going on in our AVD. One is the search box and the search button is on the activity. The results are actually in the list fragment. So if we want to handle the search button click, we have to do that in the activity itself. Let's go ahead and go to the layout, and we're going to see button. We don't have an on click yet. Let's go ahead and fix that. Android colon on click equals, and we'll just say on search clicked. And I'm going to copy that because I know I'm going to need that in a moment. Uh, also, the fragment, let's give it a, a, a better ID. Let's say FRG and then specimen list, something like that that we'll remember later. And I save. Now I go back to my specimen show activity, and I'm going to create a method that will handle that button click. Public void, and then paste, and then view v, open curly, and close curly. Okay, now what we need to do is we simply need to get that search text out. Uh, first of all, let's go ahead and import the view. Okay, to get the search text, uh, well, we need to get a handle on that search, uh, on that autocomplete for the search text. So we'll say up in the on create find view by ID and r dot ID dot ACT search I think we called it yeah we did okay uh, control alt F and we're gonna say uh, that's gonna create a field so we'll say ACT search text is fine and enter uh, we want to make the view an auto complete text view okay that's good and save and then alt enter to add a cast. Uh-oh. Didn't like that. Cast. That's what we want. Okay, and save. Now the on search clicked, we're going to say ACT search text dot get text. Dot to string. Control Alt V. Assign this to a local variable. We'll call that search text. Okay. So we'll say get the search text that the user entered. Okay, and now we need to get a handle on that fragment. So I'm going to say get the list fragment. And we'll say get fragment manager dot find fragment by ID. Now remember when I said we need to make a memorable ID for that fragment, this is where that comes in handy. r.id.frg specimen list. Terminate with the semicolon. Control Alt V to assign to a local variable uh, and we're going to call this one uh, specimen fragment. Now what was the actual type? That was called specimen show fragment. So instead of just a generic fragment, we need to make this a specimen show fragment. Save. That's going to require a cast. Alt enter. Cast. And there we go. Okay. Now what we can do is we can uh, send the search term to that fragment and then call search. But we do need to make a couple adjustments to the fragment so that it can, number one, accept the search term, and number two, perform the search. So I go back to the specimen show fragment. I say private string search term. Right click. And we're going to say generate, getter and setter. Okay, search term, that's good. Okay, and also we need to make this method called search. So we'll do that towards the bottom. We'll say, well, you know what? I'll tell you what we'll do. We will, we're going to change things just a little bit. Uh, we're going to default that search term to the letter E. 
then we can refactor and reuse some of the things we've already done. And let me move this up. We typically put uh, declarations towards the top. So move that up, save. And now what we can do is we can take this stuff here and we can extract this and pop this into a different method. So refactor, extract, method, and we're gonna call this method search, okay? The method search is going to uh, accept a search term and we're going to pass that search term right here into the search method of specimen DAO. Now we can call that directly. Search term, I spelled that. Yeah, I spelled that right. We can call that directly uh, from the activity that we were in just a few moments ago. But additionally, we can change the search method up in the onCreate and pass in the search term so that we initialize the screen. Whoops. Nope. Oops. Sorry, I didn't mean that so that we initialize the screen to the letter E, but if the user enters something else, then we can call this method search again, and we can pass in that different search text. Uh, we would do that by clicking on the search button, by typing something into the search field and clicking on the search button. Anyway, by refactoring this out to a different method, and let's make that public actually, we're able to call this from multiple places uh, from the activity for one and also internally uh, with that default search term E. I think we're in good shape now, so I choose save. I go back to the specimen show activity, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say uh, specimen fragment dot set search term, and we're going to say uh, search text, okay, and specimen fragment dot search. You know what? I think I tucked myself in a circle there because since I'm already calling the set search term, I don't need to pass it into the search method. Let's go back and clean that up just a little bit. Uh, let's say search. Let's do it like this. That's going to make a little bit more sense because we're already passing in the search term separately. So, uh, okay, this will work. So we just call the search method and it uses whatever is in the search term variable. If we're coming in here for the first time, that's going to be the letter E. If we're clicking on the search button, it's going to be whatever the user typed into the search text. Okay, we save. And now let's go ahead and debug and let's see how this looks. With our emulator running now, I click show saved. And we see that the first thing that's going to happen is it's going to show us all results that contain the letter E because that's our default search term. Now we know we still need to change this so that when we click in this text box, the label text disappears. But in the meantime, let me go ahead and type in red and hit search and let's watch what happens. Now it dropped off our trident maple because that doesn't contain the word red. It only shows us the begonia whopper red with bronze leaf uh, begonia and the Circus canadensis eastern redbud. If I change it to red bud and hit search, take a look, we only see eastern red bud. So you see, this is a very functional screen because uh, it, it allows us to search and see results without moving to a different screen. And that's an important thing to do uh, with a mobile app so that we, we can minimize the number of clicks that the user sees or the user has to deal with. And we can give the user a very responsive application. So I hope you've enjoyed this lecture series. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, criticisms, or jokes, uh, certainly leave them in the comments. I look forward to reading them. Thank you.